I love to learn a new skill. There's nothing quite like taking a class and learning something new. Now, I'm not talking about math, science, or history. I'm talking about something useful. Some of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. A craft, an art, a skill. So get ready to be blown away. Glass blowing. You know, glass blowing has been really popular lately, mainly because of this new Netflix series called Blown Away, where you have 10 people competing for some package worth like $60,000. Now, while I have no plans to be that good at glass blowing, I've always wanted to learn the basics of glass blowing. I recently had the opportunity a couple weeks ago when I got a birthday gift for a glass blowing class. This is what I made in my glass blowing class. Although technically I didn't blow this, it's more of a sculpture. Blowing of the glass would be in the next class. This was more of an introductory course to the process and procedures for glass blowing. This is made out of a solid piece of glass. It contains bits of colored glass as well as some glow in the dark material. If you wanna see how I made this, well, let's head into the glass hot shop. Patterson Glass is where my journey begins. As I enter, there are hundreds of glass products around me. Large projects, small projects, lamps, vases, bowls, birds. They even make glass flames to contain the cremation remains of your loved ones. The hot shop sort of looks like what you'd expect. There's crushed glass bits that melt and change the color of the clear glass. There's two furnaces. The one here on the left is the glass melting furnace. I believe he said that the temperature here gets to about 2000 degrees. The furnace on the right is called the glory hole. The temperature on this one, I believe he said was about 1400 degrees. It's used to reheat the glass project so it can be shaped. These are the two glass blowing instructors. These are glass cutting and shaping tools. Ground up glass powder, glow in the dark powder. The first step in the process is to put a small amount of melted clear glass on the end of the rod. This is done by the instructor who then hands it to the student who is told to roll the melted glass back and forth on the steel table. This action pushes the hot glass towards the end of the rod. Next, the hot glass gets dipped into your choice of color of the glass granules. Now back to the glory hole so that the added bits of glass will melt. As the melting glass starts to roll off the end of the rod, you rotate the rod, causing the melted glass bits to swirl in the glass. Back to the table. After more shaping, the instructor goes to the furnace for another coat of clear glass. In order to get the round shape, he uses this tool with a circular cavity. After rolling it back and forth a bit, it now has the shape of a perfect circle. This tool is used to narrow the bottom part of the glass. Some compressed air to cool down the glass just a little bit. Now the student is given a fine tooth saw blade dipped in water. This back and forth motion scores the glass in preparation to be snapped off. Now, with a little whack on the metal rod using a butter knife, the glass sphere snaps right off along the score line. A little more heat to soften the bottom surface of the glass, and this is where he uses this tool to make a flat spot so it won't roll off the table. The glass now moves into this unit, which is called an annealer. It's over a thousand degrees in there. The temperature will slowly drop to room temperature overnight. If you were to leave the glass just sitting out in the room temperature, it would cool down so fast it would shatter. While the instructor didn't allow us to blow any glass in this introductory class, he did provide a demonstration at the end where he blew glass and made a drinking glass. Now, in case you didn't believe, I actually made one of these myself. Here's a couple shots of me in action. 
I thoroughly enjoyed that glass blowing class. If you ever have the chance to take one, I highly recommend it. Add it to your bucket list. Oh, before you go, there's one room in the glass studio that I didn't show you, and it's really cool. So let me give you a quick tour of the glow-in-the-dark glass room.